You know what? Do I need to make a list, really? There's no way I'm leaving toilet brushes in the bathrooms. I've got toddlers crawling. So what I decided to do, I have my toilet brush right here, but I decided to get a baggie. And then what I'll do is I'll just stick it down in this little baggie. That way all the germs and stuff will stay in the baggie. And then if the bag gets too gross, then we'll just switch out the bag. But that way we can just throw away that little dish that gets all orange and nasty. You know what I mean, it gets nasty. Okay, so there is our toilet wand extraordinaire. I like these wipes. I use these wipes, um, you know, when I'm just cleaning up a mess that's yucky. So I'm going to put these in there, um, in the little caddy. I'm going to call this my caddy. And I am I know for sure I use glass cleaner. So I've got some glass cleaner here that <laughs> will stick in there and some sort of an anywhere cleaner. This is a greening one. Um, it's, any multi-purpose cleaner is really good to put in your caddy. Um, I'm gonna put both of them. This one's almost gone anyways, so any of those green products are really good. Um, you know, they're better for the environment. Really, you don't need as many chemicals as you think you do. Really, Ajax or Comet is pretty much all you need. You can clean your toilet with it because it's got bleach in it. You can clean your showers with it. A lot of people like those scrubbing bubbles or something that they can let soak. That's okay, but I, every time I have ever used scrubbing bubbles or 409 or any of those uh, harsh cleaners, I always get a sore throat or a headache or some sort of crazy thing. And it's from all the fumes and the chemicals and everything. So that's why I like to just do the powder. So I just put this good old thing in here and then, oh, I'm going to put some paper towels in there because when I clean my mirrors, I use a paper towel with the glass cleaner. I might need some washcloths. I always keep some clean washcloths. I'm going to put some of those in my caddy. So this is my floor cleaner. I'm going to put it in there the toilet drop-in things. I'm going to put those in there too. Okay, so this is the caddy that I'm going to be able to put under. Hey, big girl. What you doing? Just gonna watch Organizing. Just you going to watch me? Are you going to be able to organize your room soon? No. No? <laughs> so I got my brush, toilet stuff, multi-purpose cleaner, glass cleaner, um, paper towels, toilet cleaner, floor cleaner, and then just wipes. And there's some washcloths stuck in there. So that's where it is. Note to self, try not to use sponges because they breed bacteria so easy. You just need to, if you are using sponges, you need to keep them really clean. And um, if they ever start stinking in the least or you start seeing bits of food in the little holes, or chuck it, get rid of it. It's easier to use paper towels and wipes and washcloths because you can just throw them in the wash or the trash. Um, I do use these little, what are they called? Oh, the magic erasers or whatever. Just because for fingerprints on the walls and things like that, that's just an FYI. No sponges. No sponges.